Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough of what is probably going to be another embarrassing match, but it is Genius's time, character match versus DK, big time slice going on there, uh, and also a low shot, so that that's kind of scary for him, although, you know, it's a Lynx course, so maybe it won't cause him that much ire. Nah, it'll be horrendous. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I should be playing this from the front tees just to give give him more of a shot. But I don't know, I'm kind of committed now to doing them all with the same settings and whatnot. Anyway, let's let's make uh, Genius here play to his potential. Oh, I big time miss it though. <laughs> that's not that's not potential by any stretch of the imagination. But that's all right result, just as long as it's not in, uh, you know, Heath or anything like that, so... We're still okay. Let's see how Donkey Kong ha Donkey Kong's grunts... How they go. <laughs> mm, I think I'm still in better position than he is, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, especially since uh, Genius has got a fade. Well, I mean, yeah, Donkey Kong has a fade too, but the thing about... My fate is that I've, I, I got it closer to the whole line, and I could still curve it in, so... Yeah. Uh, I would like to try and get on the green in regulation, though, so... Gonna hopefully not lose a power shot. Uh, it's gonna come in... Ah! Big time miss it. <laughs> I, I noticed the red down there, but I thought, eh, I'll go for it. Because it's either going to go in the heath to the right, or it's going to go in the fairway left. And, well, it went to the fairway left, so... I did my best. And... I'm not going to use any spin or anything here, I'm just going to let it... Let it trickle on down to the hole on its own. Because the fast fairways are fast. Well, the fast greens are fast. Tyranny greens. And... Hmm... Eh... Eh, er, we're about in the same position here. And... Wait, I'm gonna move it up. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna overhit. Because I don't think the slope's gonna affect it that much, yeah. I was gonna move it a little to the left because of the slope just in front of my ball, but if I overhit it, I could take the break right out of it and just lessen the compl complexity of it. There we go. By the way, you'll notice that DK plays golf one-handed. <laughs> and look at this, this is the first time in these uh, Mario character matches that were actually tied after one hole. <laughs> it just it hasn't worked out that way. Oh, I just happened to miss hit to the right at such a bad spot. Ah, Heath of death. Why did I try and thread the needle? I don't know. Maybe because it's a par 5. <laughs> uh, DK is in much better position than I am this time. So, maybe this will end up being a good match if I keep miss-hitting. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> okay, I wouldn't count on it, because as soon as I get my mojo going with uh, Gene Yus here and feeling out how he plays and everything like that, it could be... It could, go, could go downhill for Donkey Kong pretty fast. <laughs> uh, just don't sit in the heath again, please. Thank you. Still pretty far away from the hole, but I can manage this. Um, I'm gonna try and hit it off the side slope. And regular backspin, nice impact. That's on the green, it's gonna be close. Oh yes! <laughs> and there's probably my point, unless uh, Donkey Kong does something pretty good here. I recommend you go on the flat spot to the right of the hole there, DK. And you're not even gonna be close to that, so... A chip in? <laughs> Can you chip it in? Don't use an approach shot out of the heath! You gotta do a more full swing, Oh, Oh, DK. You've gone bananas. <laughs> uh. He's still not inside me. I'm just, I'm just kicking back and watching him play. Just, yeah, it's bogey on a par five, and I'm just gonna finish him off here. <laughs> All right, now I'm one up. It's about time, huh? <laughs> uh, 
gonna go under the ball. Oops. Switch clubs. Xbox D-pad is never my friend. <laughs> oh, missed hit that. So it's probably gonna be in the rough short and left. Uh, oh, it actually made it on. Yeah, it actually carried a little further than I thought it would have. Granted, his uh, impact area seems to be better than uh, Tiny's is, so maybe I just got too used to how badly Tiny's misfits were, but. Eh, mm, I will take it. <laughs> hmm. And Donkey Kong would definitely take a chip in if he could have it. Uh, chip in, chip in. Come on, make the match good. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna tap this in here. I'm not gonna move the cursor at all or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of let it shimmy on down in there. <laughs> the, I noticed that it was affected more by the break than I thought, so I kind of got lucky there uh, because it did. It got in on the left edge, which is how the uh, slope was on that portion of the green. So in reality, I should have actually played for a little more break there, but I got away with it because I hit it slow enough that it went in. I thought that was gonna go for the Heath, but the mound saved me. <laughs> okay. Now. Now, um. Uh. Why would you hit that far back on such an awkward par 4? I don't understand. Like, I would be doing a power shot if I had to with the character at. Because look, look at this now. Are they just like dissecting the hole going from place to place but you can't win by getting pars or bogeys you gotta get the birdies or at least that's how I'm playing <laughs> I'm gonna go whoops no I wanna go maybe something like that just conserving the powers as best I can here because I've been going too too crazy with those lately and a slight miss hit, so it's not going to hit, the, uh, going to land on the green, but it's going to come relatively close. So who knows? Like a chip that in. Uh, DK, careful there. There's out of bounds if you hit the tree and then land in the yeah. See, that's that's like a I don't want to say a, a trench between fairways there, but it's it's something that's really deep out of ground, lo lose your ball type grass. Ooh, nice shot. And yeah. Uh, that's why it's out of bounds there if you hit your ball in that area. No spin or anything, you're just gonna try and roll it over there. Oh shoot, I forgot to take into account Gene's fade trajectory. That might have cost me the hole if I missed this putt. Uh, a little bit over to the left. Um, actually, maybe more than a little bit. Because I forgot tournament greens. Can't forget about the tournament greens. Ooh, close. So very close. And, oh wait, that's right, it, it wouldn't cost me the hole if I missed that putt, because uh, he didn't hole out, he just got really close. <laughs> so I'm still okay. So it actually turned out alright for DK play, playing it that way after all. So I take back what I said, you can sort of get by with bogeys, I guess. Um, mm, eh, yeah, that'll do. I think it's gonna end up in a pot bunker, but I think that'll do anyway. Because it's, uh, he has a lot of drive distance, and it's a power four that's relatively short for him, so... Uh, careful there. <laughs> oh, not the Heath. That's worse than the trees, probably. Well, hmm. I don't know. Maybe, I think the trees actually would have been worse, because he would, he would have been held pretty far back. And then might have end up, ended up with a tree in his way, too. Uh... Uh... He's using the fast fairway to the, his advantage for sure there, but I think that mound is gonna put him further away than would be ideal. Can I make the green? Oh, I can't actually. Uh, oops, do not hit three wood. Impact area is too tiny. Now it's gonna go a little bit to the right, which means rougher heath. Not not he um not any semi rough or anything like that. It's gonna be going too quick. You know to stop in the semi rough. Uh, well, that's all right, I guess, as long as it stops with the slope. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I don't think that's going to be a good enough to match a shot that I'm going to be able to pull off from this distance, I think. Uh, well, maybe it will be if I kind of 
kind of flub it up too badly. Ah, well, well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm on. I wanted to be just below the hole, you know, near around that flat area. But well, it's not. That's acceptable. I'm not gonna move the cursor because I think I'm right in between arrow transitions. Uh, that wasn't too bad for a guess through the fringe. Not counting on DK making his putt either. Yeah, it's just it's so hard to judge when you're putting through fringe how it's gonna be when you're putting through that much of fringe. And wow, another bogey. How sad. <laughs> now these would be the ones that I would normally be. Uh, um, getting pars or birdies on, or well, actually birdies, but you know, just uh, but then again, you know, I, I shouldn't actually be, I should actually be giving myself a little less credit credit than I am. I, I should say, you know, expecting a little less out of myself because this is, after all, the links course, and the links course is quite hard. So it's pretty hard to be precise on it, especially when I'm using a character that I'm kind of unfamiliar with as opposed to a character that I've built and gotten used to and stuff like that too. So, I mean, yeah, even though I do understand how to use Gene, it's, I, I wouldn't play as good as I would with another character. Hey, wait, how did he get that aiming cursor outside the, the gray line? That's weird. Like, did you see on the bar where you can move the, you know, the move the aiming target thing at the L and R button? He had that outside that gray stopper arrow thing. Holy moly! <laughs> Nice! But it'll be nice enough because I think I'm gonna birdie this myself. Yeah, I thought so. Well, he chipped it in. But yeah. <laughs> the thing was, I didn't have to move the cursor or anything like that. It was just a matter of hitting it at the right speed. You know, with the rain and the tyranny greens and stuff like that. I'm gonna try and control my landing nicely. The wind will keep it away from the bunker, or at least it should. And the fa fast fairway will give me some nice extra distance. And oh, look at that! It didn't actually keep it away from the bunker on the mishit. Interesting. Hmm. Guess I should have played it a little more to the left to be safe. See, getting used to the gene. But, but. Well, I don't think. Well, actually, DK played a pretty good shot there, and that mound there is gonna stop his ball and keep him in nice position from sliding into the heath. So yeah, I think he's actually got a shot at getting a point on me here. <laughs> um, uh oh, maybe not, because we both have the trees in our way. Eh, that's not gonna make much of a difference, because if we both get on the green in three, well, let's see what I can do here. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I might have a shot. Ah oh, no, I, I better not risk it. Let's just go around. Like something, something safe. <laughs> I'll look there. That'll be fine. I don't feel like fiddling with the trees all day here. <laughs> so just right between the heath and the bunker. The miss it won't be that bad if I would have missed it there because, um, you know, the, on the shorter shots the miss hits matter a lot less. So this is more of where a miss it would make would make more of a difference. Oh, and that's going to go to the right, which is probably not going to be on the green because of the wind. Eh. 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 I'm just playing terribly now. <laughs> well, trying to bump and run it for another chip in. Maybe. Maybe. Not quite, but close. I'm going to have to chip mine in in order to uh, actually keep my current lead. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for it, of course. A little, a little, maybe a little bit back to the right. Yeah, something like that. And no spin, no spin at all. Just kind of let it roll out. Eh, ended up a little, a little more right than I thought it would have. Well, well. <sighs> That's all right. We're still two up. <laughs> And you don't really see me losing this match, do you? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Uh, that's... why would he aim... yeah, towards the heath? Like, why? I don't understand. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do here is aim towards the fast fairway, and... 
try and control it. I was still focusing on either hitting the middle or just right of middle, because uh, I didn't want to get uh, to the left. I mean, I didn't want to hit to the right. I mean, to get my ball to the right, because there's the heath there. I just wanted to put my ball in a nice, safe spot on the fairway over there. I think, actually, uh, what's causing me so much ire here is because I'm taking so many unnecessary risks. And that's not something that I was doing even when I was playing as Tiny. So maybe I should maybe I should hold back on that. Just kind of play the boring game again. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it does make the does make playing a, a lot of fun when you're playing high risk, I guess. When you know when you're trying to be really precise on your timing and stuff like that. I don't know. It, it just feels more fun to me when when things are harder. I guess you could say. <laughs> Even though things aren't really harder. It's just that I am making it harder, I guess you could say, so... I mean, you know, the course wouldn't change based on whatever poop that I... Well, I mean, yeah, I did make it harder by playing back tees and uh, fast fairway greens. Oh! Oh! Um... Uh... I'd like to chip this in to get a point. No, but I'll settle for birdie if need be. <laughs> I'm just letting it sort of kind of... Eh, yeah, it's fine. I didn't want it to go down the slope. I was just too tentative on that. That's why I put the backspin on it. Uh, wow, or maybe just DK is a much better player <laughs> than the other ones. Who knows? Who knows? That was a good strike, though. Hmm. How about I try and land? Yeah, I'm gonna hold back on that. I was saying I'm gonna try and land it as far up as I need to to get on the flatter spot and not try and thread the needle or something like that. But oh shoot, bad bones because of my miss hit taking me offline. Uh, I wasn't trying to thread the needle there or anything like that. I just just plain miss hit. That's gonna be all right, but I don't know about that tree. That that could cause him ire, but not as much ire as I'm in right now. I think I'm gonna try and run it to the hole, hopefully, with all the oh shoot, big miss it. I was gonna say with all the concentration in the world. No, no, no. I'm still in better position uh, than I was back at the rough. Uh, back there, you know, on the, on the last shot. But not birdie position. Especially with that side slope of the green. I can, I can get a decent shot at this, though. Maybe I could chip it in. Uh, <laughs> so weird moving the cursor in the 3D view. Whoops. Don't touch the cursor when it's in... I mean, don't press the B button when it's in motion to cancel it, like you did before, Pika Gam. Whoa, so close. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. I'm glad it hit the pin, actually, um, and just stopped there, because if it didn't, it would have bounced. Uh, like, if the pin wasn't there, it would have went pretty far past the hole. But, I don't know, I guess I was focusing way too hard on the chip in. It's like the, the easier things are, the more risks I want to take or something. <laughs> Just, uh, mess with the odds, I don't know. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that! Nice shot on DK's part. Uh, I'm gonna have to step up my game if I want to get some points on him. I think that'll be okay for the landing. And uh, that's miss hit, so it's gonna be on the right side of the green. Maybe even on the fairway. Uh, the pit. Oh, wow! Bad bounce on the mound. Yeah, I don't like those, like, don't like hitting off those mounds, but if you accidentally hit off of one, well, it's just, it's just something that happens. <laughs> I'd let it trickle down the slope. Nah, I didn't think I'd make that. That was a pretty unpredictable one. And... Uh, if he makes that, he's got a point on me, but I don't think that's gonna drop at that angle that he hit it at. Nah. But I really wanted my birdie. I'm gonna move over to the left a little bit, overhit it to try and take the slope out. There we go. Alright! 
Maybe I should be more going into more super concentration mode to get those points on the board. I don't know, this is... this is... I don't know, it's feeling a lot more fun than the other ones were. <laughs> although, although it's always fun to pick fun at uh, their bad playing, but... Donkey Kong here is uh, generally, genuinely playing pretty good uh, for the most part, other than, than those bogeys and whatnot. I'm gonna try and go plop it over either in that gully or up on top of that slope. It doesn't really matter where it goes, as long as it's not in a bunker, which will not happen if I hit it hard enough. And there we go. I just wanted to make sure that I was in decent position to the green for my fade. And that, that includes being on the right side of PP. Uh, and left side would have been just fine too, so I was basically playing for both possibilities. And another nice shot by DK. Just do not move the cursor and you'll be able to make that putz. Uh, for me, I'm gonna have to play to my sort of play style. Drop and stop. Oh, good strike. Oh, very good strike. So I'm seeing this as a birdie for me guaranteed. Yeah, see how much of a difference it makes when I actually hit the center of the impact area? Something, definitely a good idea to practice on your timing. Uh, nice. But, but, if I wouldn't have made shy shot, that would have been another point to him. Alright, DK. Keep up your momentum. This is... This is incredible, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, made it. It bounced through the heath. Got a little bit worried there for him for a second. Uh, no needle threading here. Just gonna try and put it down the fairway somewhere. And that's the chunkier portion of the fairway, so... Away it goes. Uh, yeah, there's a pot bunker there and everything. I don't think that'll be much of a factor because of the bounces and the speed. Yeah. So that's good. And I got a lot more distance off my drive thanks to said fast fairway, so... That will work out. In fact, I might even be able to reach the green in two. Which I don't think Donkey Kong will be able to do if he hits like that. Um, well... I think I'm really pushing it if I try and make the green in two. But I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna try and curve around it. And topspin. I just need the power of the fast fairway to kind of get an extra boost to my shot. No, not if I miss it that badly. It's not going to go anywhere near the green. Because the longer the club, the worse to miss it. Don't aim there! Oh no! Oh! That's why you don't use a club that gives you such a low impact area. Because if you miss it, it's pretty much as good as a duff. Uh, very, very risky to hit when you have such a low impact area like that. Eh... Well, I don't see him getting a par here. He, he might, though. He might. Because he, he, he has chipped it in twice already, so... But... This is hitting into the green with a 3-wood, so that's pretty dicey, even with the backspin he put on it. Oh, bunker. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. As for me, I'd like to get relatively close by hitting into the slope to kill the spin. I mean, to kill the speed, preferably. And a little backspin. Yeah, I miss hit that, but it shouldn't matter on such a short shot. Eh, I'll take it. I don't think I have to move the cursor, so... Hmm... Hmm... That's pretty good. Uh, well, maybe not. It's coming back to... <laughs> I forgot fast fairway greens and I'm gonna really over hit this one because I'm putting through fringe and stuff So yeah, that's what I thought it was just gonna trickle in anyway All right got a point we're back on track and uh, You know this reminds me of a hole back on the, the Palms Club like you know with this with the trees on the at the middle of the bend there Just feels a whole lot like it Hmm... Control with spin? Thank you very- Oh, I hit the mound. That's not bouncing where I wanted it to. It bounced more left, so the tree might be in my way. What I wanted to do was hit the fast fairway, bounce over that mound, and then end up at the, the chunky patch of fairway down the slope, but... Eh, eh, it's alright. 
It's definitely better than that. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a little worried there because he was trying to hit a shot with the tiny impact theory again. That wasn't a very good result though, but gotta commend him for managing to pull off the shot. Uh, I'm gonna go and... What should I... Can I hit under the tree? <laughs> How's the tree in relation to me? Like, I could... I could hit driver, or, or I mean, or wood through the tree, and then just let it do its thing. You know what, let's try that. <laughs> let's see how it turns out. <laughs> because I can get a lot of distance off that, just as long as I hit through it with a long club, and yeah. Uh, obviously I wouldn't be able to tell exactly where it's landing, but I'll be able to tell about where it's going. And I figured that I would get over the, the heath. It came close to me not getting over it, but I, I figured it would get across. So I think that was actually my best option. I'm gonna do a lower trajectory shot here. A little bit of spin. Just uh, one of those controlled spin shots when you hit it low. And there we go, look at that. So I've got my par, but can he chip it in for his par? I don't know, but what I do know is my throat is getting a little scratchy from all this talking because I made this and the last three parts all in a single day, so <laughs> I think after this part I'm gonna, gonna call it quits for the day and then uh, record more parts later on after my throat is feeling a little better and or uh, when I am ready to record again in general. And... Ah, I'm sure my throat will re be recovered within four days. <laughs> mm, there we go. I just gotta have... Maybe I gotta have more lactation. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I always keep a drink or something between parts. Because of the talking and all the sounds I make and stuff like that, it does it does a number on the throats. <laughs> Plus the laughing too. If, you, if you're laughing forever, that's a that's a strain to the throat as well. Mm, I should say laughing the whole way through. Uh, I'm gonna aim for a safe spot here, just just because I've got an awkward lie with my wood. Yeah, but I managed to hit that perfectly, so of course I would hit it perfectly when I aim for the safe spot. But not when I'm going for the, the tight precision shot. Oh no, no, that, that's just not how things go. <laughs> I am seeing this going... yeah, I, uh, that was... I don't know what he was thinking there. <laughs> because he was on that... yeah, he had that awkward thing a jigger and everything so anyway one putt for the win I'm gonna have to obviously change my speed I don't think I have to change my direction though and really really hitting it hard oh over hit that's all right though uh, yeah I, I was just trying to judge based on the downhill slope and the fast fairway green and it's kind of hard to figure it out since I don't generally play on tourney greens as much as I do on the regular greens, but it didn't matter. I still got the point and Watt won the match. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue doing some more matches. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs>